Hi everyone, Andrea Owen here of Your Kick-Ass Life, and I am so excited to make a video for you because not only am I feeling very festive, but I'm really excited to talk to you about a new class that I am launching in January. Uh, it is a goal-setting class. I know, big surprise for January, right? But I've thought long and hard about what I want this class to look like. Um, I thought about doing one last year and it never happened because it just wasn't right yet in my mind and in my heart. So, so basically, what I wanted to create was a a short but sweet class on goal setting, but it's going to be more than just goal setting. And I wanted to create it um, to be affordable for everyone to be able to join who's wanted to work with me. And I also wanted it to, I wanted to create a community of like-minded souls and spirits to come together to learn from each other, to encourage each other, to support each other, and just create an awesome kick-ass crew. And that's why I've called it Your Kick-Ass Crew. This class is going to be 21 days, 47 bucks, and I'm, I'm, what I'm doing is, is breaking it down into to three parts. You can read all about that in the page right above. Um, and if you're watching this on YouTube, you can just click the link to find out more about the class. But basically what I wanted to do in this video was talk to you about goal setting and how it's changed for me over the years. So I've, I've kind of always been that person that writes goals down. Uh, it's just one of those things that I've, that I've always done. And I used to be really a stickler about being specific. I used to break it down by season. And, um, you know, I wanted to, to have this done. I wanted to have that done. <clears throat> and uh, I... You know, I had a life altering experience and, and I quit doing that for a while because I had everything planned out and it fell apart and I, a lot of those goals didn't happen. So happy to tell you that my life ended up turning out better than it would have been had I had those goals. But my point is, is that back then I didn't do it the same as I do it now. And this is how everything has shifted for me. So Goal setting is more than just writing things down and, and checking them off your list. And I do think that that is the first step. It's very important. But what we don't always learn is that our feelings and emotions associated with those goals are so important. And it's that big question of why. Why do you, why do you want this? Why is this goal so important to you? What do you think that you're going to get from it once you've achieved it? And so... Once I really started to tap into that, that's when things really not only changed, but just exploded in my life. And I still am just like, did that just happen? Did that goal really just happen? And I know, I know it's because I have done this additional process of tapping into the why and the feelings and emotions around it. So that being said, um, I wanted to give you a couple of examples of how that worked for me. So this here is a screenshot of something that I created in 2011 and uh, early 2012, and I kept adding to it as the year was going on. I opened up a Word document and I called it Big Clarity, and these are the things that I really, really wanted in my life. And this is where I just listed them out, and these were the really big goals that I wanted to accomplish. Now, here's the key. So although I didn't type it up, uh, which I do differently now, but I always set my intention as to what I wanted to get out of it as I was going after that goal. So for instance, uh, the trip to uh, California in April to visit my bestie, Amy Smith, that trip, I wanted it because I wanted to have a ton of fun. I wanted to have that um, human connection that we all want, but for me, it's one of those deep-rooted values, fun and connection. Those were the two main things that I wanted to get out of that goal. That's what I kept my focus on, and I trust me, I had it. I got it when I went out there to visit her. Um, another big one that I'll tell you about is the getting the book deal, and granted, it doesn't have a check mark by it, and I am making this video. Today is December 18th. You're probably watching it after that, but... Um, I had even posted on Facebook, on the Your Kick-Ass Life Facebook page um, months ago that, you know, I declared that by the end of 2012, I wanted to have hired a literary agent for my book that I'm writing, and I wanted her to be shopping publishers, and I wanted to 
Um, I wanted to have a book deal by then. Okay. So it was kind of a lofty thing. And it was like, I think it was around September or October that I posted this. And I have done a lot of work on this particular goal, this one of writing my book and, and getting it published. I have done a lot of work around the why for me, around the feeling that I want to get during the process and when it's done. So what's interesting, what the most interesting thing is that when it got to be around November um, and I didn't have an agent yet and I thought, you know what? I posted that on Facebook and it might not happen. Like it might be January, February that I get a book deal. I am not kidding you. So fast. I got an agent so fast. As soon as I started looking for one, she sent my proposal out to publishers. Um, within less than a week, we had an offer and we have an offer right now that's on the table. Um, and that offer closes the first week of January. So, I mean, I was floored when I opened up this Word document. I was like, oh my gosh, I had put out into the universe that this is, I wanted this to happen by the end of 2012. And by all means, it's happening. So my whole point of, of telling you all this is that it goes more than just writing down what you want. It is about declaring it and really, really meaning it. And so much about tapping into why you want it, tapping into the feelings and emotions surrounding it. Because so many times we get caught up in the action and we get caught up in, we get stuck because the action is so scary. And I would be lying if I told you that that whole thing wasn't scary. It was so scary and it still is scary to this day. But I hold steadfast onto the feelings that surround that. It changes everything. So now I pretty much do that with any goal that I have before I plan out the action steps to get it. I ask myself, why do I want this? And that's truly what has changed in my life. And it's changed in the lives of my clients. And it's also, uh, I'm telling you, I, I got a lot of life coach friends and they're most of my friends are my colleagues. And that's what changes, that changes the game for everyone. And so that's why I wanted to teach this class. Um, I hope you can join us. It's going to be so fun. I'm really excited about it. The Facebook group alone is always, you know, something I'm so excited about. You will have three different audios uh, broken down. You can read about it in uh, on the page here. And it really tells you everything that you need to know. So I hope to see you there. If you have any questions, you can contact me on the Facebook page or shoot me an email at andrea at yourkickasslife.com. And hope to see you there. Bye.